Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin sees a little bit of selling pressure today. I'm fighting now with the 71k level and might be dropping further. We are heading towards that um, lower boundary line of the trend channel we discussed in the previous video. And we have quite a lot of volatility today. We are still holding, however, above the levels that would serve as initial and additional top signals. As I mentioned in the previous videos, could I try to prepare everybody mentally for the potential of a drop from this region because we now have completed the minimum requirements for this move to the upside from the 5th of March low, right? So that's been a very consistent message over the recent days that, yeah, I mean, I can count five waves up. I would still prefer another high because it hasn't really reached the ideal FIB level for this sequence. So 76.2K would be ideal, but we don't need to get there. You know, structurally we have five waves in place and that means we have to be on the side of cautious, not bearish really, not until we have initial top signals, but being prepared for something like that from a portfolio point of view and from a mental point of view is very important, which is why I try to prepare everybody. You know, we're very much overstretched, especially considering the move that started on the 23rd of January. Now, what we wanna do in this video, just take a look at the microstructure I talked in the previous video about the daily time frame. So if you're interested in a, bit of, in a little bit more context, feel free to check it out. But it seems like the market is dropping quite strongly right now, but there is plenty of support available. So we just need to see if those support levels are holding or if we finally are starting the way for pullback, which again, I will just briefly open the daily time frame chart. So everybody is on the same page because we're dealing here with this way for yeah between 50,870 and 61,930 so that's the level that would need to hold to really keep going with the white count which would then give us away five another four and another five and so on right so this is the main support area that i tried to show you or that i showed you actually in the last few videos preparing everybody for the potential of a drop into this region from the current price region because First of all, we are very much overstretched from the 23rd of January low, and it's quite a long move up without any deep pullbacks. And we're now in a situation where also the smallest time frames suggest that top could form in this region. I mean, yeah, you know, you, we can get another move up, yeah, but um, it's about reward and risk, okay? And when we're very much extended and when structurally everything is complete at least from a minimum you know minimum requirements point of view then it's just worth being on the side of caution not bearish until we have signals but yeah on the side of caution now that's what we want to talk about obviously um as i just said it is possible that we get another move to the upside in wave five here this wave five would then complete the ending diagonal pattern which would complete the third wave here resulting in a fourth wave pullback, which could be quite dramatic. I shared with you in the previous video, we might be looking at here 20, maybe even 30% pullback. Around about 20 is probably realistic. And that is something that a lot of people who are now new in the space have never seen, right? Because they are new and they've only come into, a lot of new, you know, retail traders or investors have come into the space recently, attracted by the gamble, you know, the market, Bitcoin making new all-time highs and so on. You know how it works. So people, some people are just used to rising prices. Now, you know that it's not always the case. So for, a, for an uptrend to continue, we need red candles. We need corrections for the price to basically cool down a bit, reset itself. And all I can do here is to highlight the risk is high in this region. Yep, I would like to see one more high because it would fulfill an ideal pattern. But if we see a break, initially below the 12th of March low, which is here at 60, what was that? 68,580. 68, um, that would be an initial top signal, yeah? That would be an initial top signal, but we could just reset wave four a little lower in the orange box. This will become far less likely if we also get a break below 66,530, the lower um, line of this orange support zone. So if we then break through the orange support zone as well, well, that would make this scenario far less likely. 
And that would be a good confirmation, really, that the top has been struck. And then obviously taking all these previous swing lows out will be further confirmation. But I think these are the two key levels that need to be watched. At the moment, we just see a red candle. It could simply be in this ending diagonal that we're tracking an ABC structure. Unfortunately, due to the ugly, um, sloppy, choppy price action from the 5th of March low, which isn't very clear, we don't really have a very clear pattern that means just because of that, we need to be on the side of caution. See, we have a lot of overlaps, which means there are a lot of sellers that are selling into the rally. Yeah, and selling pressure is increasing, but the buyers are still stronger. But the thing is, if this is really an ending diagonal, and it, it certainly isn't impulsive. So if this is an ending diagonal, then the move down will be rapid. Yeah, it will be quick. Be please mentally prepared for it, because ending diagonals typically end with a rapid move into the opposite direction. So they are typically followed by a rapid move into the opposite direction. That could lead to quite a strong sell-off across the sector. And yeah, it's just it's just wise and worth to be prepared for it. And as I said, regular profit taking in the altcoin sector, definitely recommended always, you know, at strategic levels, for example, in resistances. Mm, that's important because if we see altcoins come down 30, 40, 50%, a lot of people will lose again, you know, all the profits they've made in recent weeks, which is never great. A good strategy, in my opinion, to employ, I mean, there was a lot of money to be made and there still is in the crypto market, but in the, especially since October, we haven't seen deep pullback. So a lot of people will be in profit and it can be reasonable to, you know, take initial investments out, you know, because a lot of coins have doubled, tripled, quadrupled even. So it, it can be wise to take at least the initial investment out. Um, but yeah, what can I say? We still have potential for one more high. If so, and if that materializes, then it should probably materialize here from this current price region where a B wave finds support Yeah, in this region between 71,040 and 69,580. But that's not a clear setup. And then from there, if we get a pullback to the trend line, maybe that will act as additional support. And then we could still get that C wave rally to the upside, um, to the levels mentioned. And yeah, from there, then we could, um, from there, then we could expect possibly this move to finish if it hasn't finished already. As I said, you know, minimum requirements are already fulfilled. It just hasn't clearly broken support. So we still need to be ready for further increases. Just that caution is recommended, not yet bearishness. Caution, which is very important because it means that you can prepare your portfolio, you can re review your positions and um, just be watching the relevant support levels that are clearly outlined here on the chart. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.